Hey everyone, uh, Andrew with Andrew's Air Cold Technology. This is a quick uh, installation or assembly video for the Evolution 2 cooling system. Um, so things are a little different obviously than for a stock or OEM cooling system. So we're going to start with what you need. You need a socket wrench with 10 millimeter uh, socket or a 10 millimeter wrench. You'll need um, an Allen wrench of four millimeters or if you have the socket style make that so you can see a socket style like this that's what I prefer you can put that on a little quarter inch wrench and you can use that that's going to be for part of the way the fan mounts and you need an 18 millimeter socket for the flange nut that holds the fan in place so we're going to start with this is uh, our Bosch alternator uh, also any aftermarket alternator works just fine um, the Bosch uh, alternator the reason I'm using that in this example is on the shaft here uh, lots of times they actually have some raised edges where the woodruff key goes if you can see I filed this off but right here where the woodruff key goes uh, lots of times that thing will have raised edges which will prevent the little spacer from going on so on the back of your alternator there is a, there is a spacer that goes in right here I have removed the one that came with the Bosch and in the kit is supplied one for you. It'll look like this and you just merely slide this over the shaft and down like that. The reason I have this is because I found on many of the, depending on the alternator, whether it was Bosch, whether it was CompuFi or Ampy or whatever, the size of these was different in terms of its height which made uh, the tolerances for fans and stuff to be pretty wide. Now when you have spacers and shims and all that kind of stuff and in and out, you kind of can, you know, adjust for that. I didn't want to do spacers and all that and have you trial and error. So I made my own spacer here. So on these Bosch alternators, you might find that there's little ridges there on the Woodruff key. And of course the Woodruff key is out so you can put the spacer on it. Take the old one out, put this one in, Boom, and you're good. And then we're going to do the Woodruff key in there. Now, what I have found, the aftermarket Woodruff keys are very, very loose. Okay? They're super, super loose. So when you put it in there, they, they fall out quite easily. Um, so, whoops, in fact, it just fell out. Where did it go? There it is, right there. Okay, so it fell out. Um, so you've got this. This is the fan mount hub, the new style fan mount hub. It's like a flanged flywheel. It has the, the groove for the Woodruff key. And we just, we've got to hold the Woodruff key in place. We slide it down, and you'll be just like that. Okay, so you'll see the Woodruff key is still sticking out some, which is fine. Um, we'll talk more about that later. And so you want all that in place, that way your Woodruff key won't fall out. Then we're going to take our, our inlet. This is a standard inlet, not for the Jeanberg linkage. There's a slightly different one for the Jeanberg linkage, um, which has a relief right here for the thing to go across, for the linkage to go across. And this is going to fit on the back of your alternator. And for the standard one, there is no orientation. You can put it on any way you want. doesn't really matter. And it's going to be a, a tight fit, so don't worry about that. But just press it on, and there you go. And of course, you don't have to worry about the hub being in place for the fan. You just press that on. Put your standard washers and nuts on in place. And I'm not going to tighten these real tight. We're just going to... But that's where you need your ten, either your 10 millimeter wrench or socket like this. And of course, these really just have to be hand tight anyway because the spring washers or if you have nylock uh, nuts, of course, you just, just hand tight. That's all you got to do. So, so now your inlet, which is serves as your backing plate, is in place. Uh, next is the fan itself. Um, 
The fan will have a, a spot for the Woodruff key as well, since the Woodruff key does stand out. Um, the, this side is the side that goes up. This side, which, which faces the new inlet, is the side that goes down. And you're just going to place it on there, rotate it, and it will just line up. One, it's you know it's engaged with the Woodruff key, so it'll just line up beautifully. And then in the kit, you'll have you'll have the socket bolts, which we'll just put in place like so. This will hold the fan to the hub that it spins on. Put these in place. There are six of them. Get our let's get our this is easier just to do like so. There's no torque specification on these. Again, you're just going to just tighten them down, hand tight. These are not, you know, uh, um, going to come loose because of what sits on top of it. And we'll, we'll show you that in just a second. Okay. We got those. And I'm going to tighten them down just hand tight with my wrench. Now I'm going to hold the side of this fan, but I'm not going to put my fingers in where the blades are or anything like that. You don't want to accidentally snap a blade off. I'm just holding the edge flat with my hand. As, as strong as these parts are, the, the, the blades are very thin. They're only 1.6 millimeters thick. Um, so, you, you know, if you, if you grab that fan by the blades or something like that, you're... You're very likely to uh, potentially snap one if you put enough force. It's not really designed for that kind of force, so um, so there you go. You see, it'll look like that. And of course, this fan will still just slide on and off that hub. There's really nothing holding it in place. And that comes to the next parts that are are here. So I've got this custom aluminum spacer right here that just slides right over the top of that. You got a, a spring washer, and then you've got your flange nut. So we just put all those together. Now there's nothing that really centers this on its own, so I just tend to use the flange nut and use my eye. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered or anything. And as soon as you tighten that baby down, that's going to be really tight. So I'm just going to leave it this way. You'll just want to hand tight with your 18 millimeter socket. You don't want to try to torque it yet, because um, you know the only way you're going to be able to torque it is gra either grabbing the fan like this with your with your hands with the with your fingers in the blade or whatever, and you won't be able to get that torqued that way. So um, you want to install it in the car in the fan shroud first. Have your pulley on the front where you can put a screwdriver in the groove for the pulley, then torque your uh, fan okay and the torque specification is uh, 25 foot-pounds so that's all you need you've got the spring washer it's never gonna go anywhere it doesn't have to be like you know 40 42 foot-pounds the way it is on stock so so that's pretty much it so there you are you've got an assembled alternator fan and the inlet right so then let me just sit this down for a second We've got our fan shroud, so one of our customer fan shrouds that I've made, and the fan does stick.
through the back, okay? So I'm, I'm actually holding it in my lap this way. If you are on a bench or something like that, you'll want to put something underneath here that's a good, you know, four inches, let, raise it about four inches so the fan can stick through because the fan is, does stick through the back a little bit. So we're just going to take our assemble fan and alternator. We're going to carefully sit it down in there. Line up. And of course we have the standard screws. These are the CB Performance uh, socket, socket nut versions of the screws. And there's four of them, and this will just line up. You'll just kind of need to adjust it, line them up. Stick them in there. Let's get that one lined up. Let's get our same four millimeter. These holes will line up just perfectly. You don't have to worry about them being off. The dimensions of this stuff is just exactly like the OEM doghouse fan shroud and the early fan shroud. No differences in terms of that. Okay, and that's how you put, you see the fan does stick out the back a little bit, and that's how you put it together. Now once you have this, you're going to want to, you know, you notice I can hold this thing, it's plenty strong like this, you're not going to want to do that and bang this alternator against something you might just break it right so again remember you you know this is a pretty strong it's a very strong material but there's only six you know brackets here that are or or stems that are holding you know this thing together so so just be careful with it be careful with the fan etc so that you don't end up with um you know broken parts right so you look at that it just spins beautifully freely that's exactly what you want and of course you know you have your standard you know uh, uh, holes and nuts for sitting it on the engine um, one last thing I'm gonna sit this aside and I'm just gonna show you this this is pretty self-explanatory I think on all these shrouds you will also get these components okay these are meant to seal up the throttle tube opening uh, on each side. And I'm going to just show you on this other fan shroud what those look like installed. So that's the one on the, on the exit side of the throttle tube, and this is the one in the front. And they're just uh, very simple, um, you know, silicone rubber seals. And you're going to want to put those in place really before you assemble anything else, okay, on the fan shroud. I didn't do that on this because part the front one's actually covered up um, with the, uh, with the uh, order information to, so I know whose fan shroud that is that I'm sending it to. So anyway, so those are, you know, they'll just, they'll just put it, you know, just stick, I wonder if you can see that. You can, can you see it? There we go. You see it? You just want to make sure that it's all the way in the groove and smooth on the inside and, and if, as long as you have that you're good that won't go anywhere and the throttle tube is going to push right through there and the throttle tube goes right here so that's pretty much all of the information you need to really get your cooling system assembled correctly and don't forget once you have it on the engine and you got your front your alternator pulley in place torque your rear nut to 25 foot pounds so Appreciate it, all the business, making a bunch of these things, and uh, uh, you know we'll see you and talk to you again later. Bye bye.